Hi everyone, I'm Gina the Plant Based Mom and I'm here to catch up on my weigh-ins for the month of October. Uh, for some reason I just wasn't able to get these uploaded so I am doing this today. It's going to be a little bit different than the rest of my weigh-ins so let's take a look. First off, I'm sorry about the lighting. I know it's not the greatest today. Uh, I've been working in here, all my equipment's in here, so I just thought I'd go ahead and set up in here. Um, but not, not not ever again unless I get more lights to work with. So, well, let's see. October 4th weigh-in. Um, I got on the scale, felt pretty good. Was trying to get a little bit of control. I was working really hard at maintaining control. So when I stepped on the scale, I found that I weighed 223.8, which gave me a three, let me see, which gave me a 3.2 pound weight loss for that week. And I was so, so excited. That's the first, that's the first of any type of weight loss I've had in a while. So that felt really good. I was still really struggling at that point. And the next week came along to weigh in and I struggled through that next week as well. But to my surprise, I stepped on the scale and I was 223.7, which is basically a tenth of a pound down from my previous week so that I consider that maintaining my weight. Then the next week came along, the third week in October. I was looking forward to my weigh in because I had walked four days that week. So I knew even if I had struggled, which I did, um, that walking would at least offset that, right? No. I think my previous weeks of struggling really showed through this week. I weighed in at 225.1, which is a 1.4 pound gain. Yeah, that was not, we won't even talk about that day because that was not a good day. I have to say that week was the worst week of all, even though I did exercise. It just seems like everything pumpkin spice came out and attacked me. I won't even mention what they were because it might tempt you and attack you as well. First of all, that week we had several outings, uh, which usually means we are going to eat out unless we come prepared. Most of the time I go prepared, but it has been such a crazy busy week with homeschooling and our travel plans, and um, we just ended up relying on eating out. I'm sure that played a major part in this gain as well. But then came along Dr. Pam Popper, and she shared a video on exercise and self-control. Basically, out of the two study groups, um, both groups showed that those who exercise on a consistent basis were able to make the right decisions and exercise self-control in their in the way they ate. If you'd like to see that video, I'm linking it above right here for you. That video really gave me the boost that I needed because I knew, I knew all this time that I was telling you that I was not struggling, I could have candy sitting right next to me and not even flinch things like that, um, it's because I was exercising this whole time. And then when I quit the exercising, then starting little compromises, it all just added up and I was done for. So the major lesson I learned this week is exercise is the key to self-control. It seems like exercise is the key to everything. It's the key to my weight loss. It's the key to self-control. It's the key to reversing diabetes, um, it's just this little magic thing, magic pill if you will. Okay, so let's get down to it. Today's weigh-in. Did I lose? Did I gain? Here we go, we'll see. As you can see, Yes, I weighed in at 225.6, which is a half a pound up. I know from here on out we won't be seeing this upward trend anymore. Um, 
as I realize the things I need to do, I need to just get serious again and just do it. After this realization and this week's weigh-in, I have goals for next week. First goal, since I walked four days last week, I want to walk at least four days this week. My ultimate goal is to walk six days a week, seven if possible, but at least six. So um, we're going to build up to that. So four days this week of exercise, half an hour walks at least. Second goal, eat clean every day. Little compromises have to stop. If I want to continue this journey, otherwise, what the heck am I putting all this info out on YouTube for? And why am I even trying? I may as well throw it all, throw in the towel. And the third one's going to be the hardest. I hate, hate, hate going to the doctor. Even though I like this doctor, but I just hate going. My goal for this week is to at least set up an appointment so that I can discuss this whole thyroid issue with her and other tests that I need to learn more about. I guess the next time I see you will be November. Hopefully that's not going to be a hard month. <laughs> I know that can be with the holidays approaching. If you'd like to come along on my journey, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like this video. Oh,